All right, guys, so this is a hood, and as you probably know, maybe you don't, there was a hole in it. But now I bought a piece of $70 sheet metal. Uh, apparently that's pretty expensive. Uh, and I welded that on there. And then I've got Bondo on it, and I just messed it up because I had to weld some braces on uh, right there. I don't know if you can see that, I'll show you in a minute better. And uh, so now, since this isn't really the best anyway, I bought some more Bondo, or body filler, which, uh, by the way, I'm not just filling the big, there used to be a huge, a bunch of huge dents, but I knocked them all out and put a bunch of dings in the metal so that way it's strong and it's not gonna bend in and out. Uh, and now I just gotta sand it down. I'm using six inch uh, sandpaper discs on a seven inch thing because I don't wanna keep buying the seven inch sandpaper discs. So I'm gonna see how that works. Okay, I got all that kind of ground down, the weld and stuff. So now I'm gonna start sanding some more because I've got enough Bondo now that I can probably make this whole hood smooth again. So I'll go ahead and start doing that. All right, so got this Bondo on here. Uh, took a whole little can of it, one of those cans, and uh, yeah, it starts getting pretty hard pretty quick, and then it does that, but other than that, the rest of it is pretty good. Now I'm going to carefully sand it so I don't get rid of too much, and then uh, I'll show you the finished product. Alright, so there's the finished product all sanded. Um, it is not perfect, but it is my first time, so... I mean, not bad, and uh, it's got a little bit of a ramp. I don't know if you can see that right there. It's got a little ramp. I don't know if that's gonna be centered or not. If it's centered, it might look like a little something that's meant to be there. I don't know. But originally, this ended like here, I think, and uh, there's a lot of warping action and stuff, but the way I cut this circle out of this piece of metal uh, was I just made a cardboard template and then taped it to there and flipped it upside down and then used a marker and then transferred it over to there. And then I used the cutoff wheel on the grinder. And then uh, now I'm getting ready to paint this. I just gotta let it dry a little bit more. There's some spots I should have just waited a little longer, but I think it's gonna be Definitely an improvement. I won't have to leave a pan over my hood anymore because I do have a lot of nice components under here and I don't want to mess up. So, yeah. All right, so here's the uh, painted product. It's not perfect because I don't have a flat sanding block, but I mean, from like here. It's actually really good so and once it gets dirty it should be a little bit more you know matte than uh, glossy but now I'm gonna go ahead and put a few more coats on it and then I'll be ready to put it back on all right it's been a few days now I uh, got it painted and everything here's the finished product nice and smooth just a little boat up in the middle got her cold started Idling at like 300 RPM. Got a new uh, radio and uh, amplifier. I don't know if you can see that under there. And uh, got some new speakers. Boss amp, boss speakers. Works real good with the old antenna that's literally falling off right now. This thing has like crazy good. Like it's running so good right now, I barely tap the gas. That's so loud. Yeah. 